high. So for those of you who are high on the Me Too movement being about mutilating men who have hurt you and getting them back, this is your movie. I just liked it because it had some of the sickest sound design of the year. They brought out the big 64-pack Crayola box to show off these colors and make them pop. And I would give it a junior prize just for how crazy the movie gets. Let me explain. So the girl from Ranks finally gets a better role, even though it's about her being the side chick for a rich dude, but it's a lot better than what she had in that movie. To me, she's kind of like the new Jessica Alba, and she's got all the guys acting extra thirsty since they're vacating in the desert. Everything seems to be fun and games until Creeper McCreeper Pants decides to channel his inner Weinstein. Scumbag. Let this be a reminder for some of you out there who don't realize that not all females are Slim Jimmies. They actually do have a type. And chances are it ain't you. Crazy thing is that when the husband comes back and has to deal with the scenario, right? The boyfriend who's on the side. He practically tells her to forgive and forget as if this dude accidentally slipped and landed inside of her. She brings up his wife and he plays the card. Hey, don't you dare disrespect my wife. Whom I'm already disrespecting by cheating on her. He then decides that the best way to fix this problem because his buddy decided to rape a side chick is by Mufasaing her off a cliff and leaving her to die. What these hunters least expect though is that be it the ants, be it the apple she bit earlier or whatever mystic powers the Me Too movement itself can give you, this girl comes back to life, Walter whites herself off this tree and starts hunting these dudes down for revenge. First one she takes out is the fat one who looks like Remy's friend from Ratatouille. He tries waterboarding her, but then she jacks his knife and first bloods him. This chick is still walking around with the tree. It's got a little baby Groot coming out of her belly button. So there's this trippy scene where she decides to take a psychedelic, literally starts hearing the score of the movie, and straight up carves out this massive splinter as she uses a beer can to solderize it. Why the lettering is reversed? I don't know, this is a movie where she already defied death. She then goes after French Harvey and American Snipers' his shoulder. He then berry peppers off her ear. And then in the most disgusting scene of the year, and I've seen that Stormy Daniels tape, we get this dude stepping on some glass after he took off his sock to use it as a sling. And if you know the pain of stepping on a Lego, then this scene would be your biggest fear as this man plays Operation with his foot. Man, even Tarantino would quiver at that. She ends up giving him the head that he wanted, except it's with a bullet, and sets off to kill the main dude with the final boss battle. Now, in case you have a problem with her fighting like Laura Croft in a bikini, know that at least the dude at the end lets his nuts hang like Takashi, so, I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of even. They start pulling a Scooby-Doo around this house since they're chasing each other in circles, and like I said, the sound design is so good that there's a certain point when they're on opposite ends, but they can't tell whether one is coming from the right or the left because of the way the hallways are laid out. It's a pretty dope scene where I was only questioning at one point, uh, at a certain point where the guy is just waiting around the corner for her, and she notices the blood puddle, and for whatever reason she didn't do the duck and nut, like like, just pull a capper to take a knee, and boom, right into the test seats for the W. She does eventually get him when they're battling out in the back, because... Women always have to put up a fucking... And she gets to live another day, proving once and for all that the only way to bring peace to this world is to kill all men. Wait. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Like I said, I definitely recommend this movie. I thought, uh, you know, logically, it's not like there's crazy stuff happening. She already defied death. You know, she freaking Jon Snowed it. So there are points where it's like, you don't really feel the, like, stakes for her. But nonetheless, I still thought it was a very well done movie with the colors, with the sound design. I definitely think it's worth watching. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comment section. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll send you a coupon to Shop Club USA.